Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to another Batman Arkham Knight. Today we're looking at the Redbird or Robin Batmobile skin based on the Ooh. Redbird Robin's car, Tim Drake from 1993. And while he had his learner's permit, he really wasn't supposed to drive, but you know, being a um, vigilante and breaking the law anyway, I don't think that was really hanging on his conscience. So this Redbird was Robin's choice vehicle after uh, Jean-Paul Valley kicked Tim Drake out of the Batcave because Batman didn't need a sidekick. And what? of course, Robin did all the really cool stuff in the Robin book with his girlfriend, the spoiler. And this was their ride. Cool. Well, I mean, more more or less. I mean, it was. It didn't look all Arkham Knighty. No. And there's also notice how there's no green. The Redbird had green. Oh, okay. And Great. it looked like a souped-up sports car, and it was really cool. It was kind of like the '80s Batmobile, which um, they haven't really shown in the game. But basically, it had like this kind of futuristic top to it and it looked like a car that you know oh cool was, was completely different but it was really cool the red bird was yeah. used by tim drake from 1993 until about 19 or 2000 was the last time i remember seeing it wow i did not know that robin had his own car that's really cool at the age of 13 <laughs> actually that is a legal age to drive in some countries so yeah well timmy Timmy found a way, but, um, you know, since his dad was disabled, it was how Tim Drake uh, was able to um, get his learner's permit. Oh, wow. Because originally, not the new 52, Tim Drake had, uh, his parents were attacked by some serial killer, mm -hmm. and his mother was killed, and Tim's dad was paralyzed. And, oh, wow. you know, he had kind of a sad little origin before he was adopted by Bruce Wayne. Um, you know, he lived with his dad, who was kind of a jerk because of, you know, being paralyzed yeah. and uh, because his um, rehabilitation person was near Wayne Manor or whatever, yeah. uh, his dad moved close to where Wayne was and the two billionaires were always butting heads. Oh, okay. But the new 52 Tim Drake, which people don't like, has a completely different origin. He's a spoiled rich kid who no. hacked into the Penguins' bank accounts and forced his family and himself to be put into witness protection. So we don't even know Tim Drake's real name, but his mom and dad are still alive. They're just off in some bunker somewhere. Wow. I like his original... Yeah. Well, the original one sounds kind of like the um, Tim Drake from the animated series where he's... Well, the original Tim Drake um, was actually kind of inspired by Neil Adams and Danny O'Neill, like the really good... Bronze Age, 1970s Batman writers, and um, some other people did some really great stuff, but Tim Drake was the first Robin to have his own monthly comic book series that started as a miniseries first, wow. and the character got so popular um, that he got his own comic book around the time of Nightfall. Wow, so no other Robin had their own monthly series like that? Nope. Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome. And it ran for like 300 issues. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. I'd say uh, his car and spoiler would have to do something with that. Yeah, the the. I mean, <laughs> I collected. I think we have like sixty issues of oh, the cool. Robin comics, which are very heavily like spoiler and Robin books. Yeah. Uh, later on, you know, he and Stephanie do the Ross and Rachel thing and go on a break, but um, they always get back together. And in Convergence, at the very end, Tim and Stephanie got back together. And it was cute. It was like, it's about time. Because they were being all like, you know, doing the whole Nightwing and um, Batgirl thing where they're just like, <laughs> they had a yeah. past, but they don't really capitalize on it because they're older. And that was puppy love. And it's like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't puppy love. It was real. That's right. And at the end of Convergence, they get together. And, and they're kind of they cuddling on the couch, even though they're both love. all bruised from fighting Gorilla Grodd and stuff like that. Yep. And Cass was just like, you know what? It's about time. And when I mean Cass, I mean the other Batgirl. Um, oh, okay. Kane's daughter. Oh, yeah. Which actually both Spoiler and Kane now appear in the new 52, but it's not like what it was. They're just, they're there to sucker fans into buying the comics. Everyone is just there. 
It's like, I don't know, the new 52 is just zombie versions of everyone. It's just them. Well, what they what they did to kind of no troll people with Convergence is everybody merged. Like, the spirit and the soul of the pre-52 universe became the new 52. And the old Earth 1, Earth 2 became the new Earth 2. And it's like, no! Don't you dare do that, DC! And then well, they're like... Well, that's the stupidest at, thing I've ever heard. At, at New York Comic Con, they were like, you know what? Um, we're actually going to revisit the Convergence universe from time to time. So it's very possible you'll see, you know, Batgirl Stephanie Brown and Red Robin again and Nightwing and Oracle the Married Years. They said, we don't know what we're going to do. Based on, you know, how well Convergence sold, um, you never know. So, I mean, for older fans like us, it's kind of like, cool, there's a possibility. But I will say this. There is actually a cool New 52 book that I'm reading every week called Batman and Robin Eternal that features Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake. And it's a story of the Robins and also a mission with Batman that was very dark that involves Dick Grayson's past. Like, he was only Robin for, like, one year. Yeah. And uh, some really crazy stuff happened. But uh, getting to the Batmobile stuff, um, like with most, you know, skins that you get for the actual tank mobile, you can use combat and stuff like that. And even though the blue walls are still in a lot of the car challenges, which makes this one incredibly difficult to do, I still have never been able to beat this one because it's just too crazy. Yeah. It's you know, this is a survival annoying. thing, so one hit and you're toast. There's just way too much stuff going on that it's hard for me to concentrate the, um, diving into the Robin lore and mobile like that. in the as the and the Arkham mobile really looks awesome. I it really it looks like awesome, that. but it need it needed more green. Then you could say it's kind of like yeah. a Christmas mobile. Yeah, because Robin <laughs> has uh, no his, his oh no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. I, I don't care. I was, yeah. Oh, well. We almost got three good. stars. Almost. Yeah. He has, his suit is, has the yellow R with the red and and the green, like a little bit of green. Although, New 52 Robin didn't really have a lot of green. And we're actually uh, working on doing some mod stuff. We have the game on PC now. Um, but we're noticing a lot of stuff with the mod, like uh, Robin can't ride in the Batmobile. So, because oh, originally okay. we were going to show Tim Drake, you know, in his costume next to the Redbird, oh, and right. yeah. he can't drive it. Batgirl has the Batmobile follow her like a puppy, but she can't drive it. Oh. Nightwing has no back grapple, and, and neither does Azrael. But we still recorded a bunch of um, stuff with the free roaming things. We were very excited about that, and periodically this month we'll be releasing episodes. Um, it's just it doesn't look as good as the PS4. Um, gameplay that we normally do. Yeah. And also, I'm not used to the Xbox controllers at all. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, PS4 is my jam. I, I play it all the time. So, I'm very used to the PS4 controller, which at first I didn't like. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the PS4 controller a lot. I'm not a fan of the Wii U controller very much. No. I don't, I don't I like, like it. I liked the N64 co- controller. Yeah, that was your favorite. That's because my hands are tiny, and it's closer together. You can grab two, any two of the three prongs of the So, of the um, just, just to kind of update you guys and gals what's going on, uh, this month you're going to see a lot of Batman stuff on this channel. Um, we are doing Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I believe it is, on the Mature channel. It'll be every other day. And we've recorded some episodes, but we have a schedule of what days we're going to play that game. I'm playing it more like Batman, though, um, because it's very similar to Arkham Knight. So I don't kill as many people, except when playing as the girl, because she has like this cool knife throw ability. And, you know, it's kind of like it's a batarang that's putting them to sleep in death. Yeah. They might still be okay. No. Well, not with, (laughs) you know, things prodding out of their heads. Yeah. But, well, you have to play different when you're a girl because yeah. you can't really beat people up as well. So I, I don't know if I've said this or not, but the reason why we're using the Batman Beyond skin uh, for the PS4 is because uh, Tim Drake is currently Batman Beyond. So it makes sense yeah, for Timmy. I, I, was, uh, I was confused. I was like, what? Has he always been Batman Beyond? It's like, oh, no, of course, Terry, Terry, the Terry guy was Batman Beyond. That's right. Terry McGinnis, who was awesome. And then DC was like, you know what? A Batman needs to die this year. So no. bye, Terry. 
That was very creative, though, to put um, Tim Batman Beyond in the Robin mobile. That's very cool. Thank you. I thought you would like that. It's red and it matches. It's very Christmassy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, gamers. No, we have uh, some really cool treats for getting. you coming. No. But um, I've gone and we've uh, tackled some more challenge maps from Prime Fighter Pack 3. And you can look forward to those probably on the weekend. Um, I haven't been able to get all three stars yet. So, you know, I'm not really okay with what we did. So I'm probably going to do those over. Um, just because, you know, getting all three stars is something that's pretty cool, right? So, yeah. Pretty cool. And uh, if you guys are interested, I can do some challenge maps that I've already beaten and play them with, like, Red Hood or something like that. But I'm not going for all their stars. I'll just show off the, the maps. If you're cool with that, then I can easily put out some videos real quick. You know, but if I have to get all the stars, then... No. <laughs> not so much. I expect perfection or nothing. But if, um if you record a video and you're less than three stars, then just don't even bother posting it at all, Caving. I love no, shooting stuff. I'm just kidding. No, we want to see the costumes. We want to see the costumes, Caving. So uh th there, there was some interesting developments on Gotham that um I, I was following my Twitter and I thought I was gonna talk about and I, I don't really want to get into it too much, but how can you have Mr. Freeze? In Gotham, like as Mr. Freeze already, it's like no. <laughs> there's gonna be yeah. nothing left for Batman when he actually, you know, isn't, dons the cape and cowl. I mean, isn't he at least somewhat close to Bruce's age? I mean, it's just like no. Victor was always like I'd say ten years, ten to fifteen years older than Bruce. But still, I mean, this is a young Mr. This, Freeze. This then? is a older Mr. Freeze. But from what that it looks doesn't like. make any sense then. I that's yeah, weird. everybody, like, Edward Nigma was uh, a little bit around Bruce's age originally, and now he's, like, probably 18 or 19 or 20, and Bruce is only, like, 12 or 13. It's like, no! No, stop it! Time skip! Time yeah. skip! I can't even get into it. I mean, it's just, like... We'll stick with the Flash. Bruce actually just kind of lived a semi-normal life with Alfred, you know, and then, like, when he got into college age, then he started going all over the world and training and everything, so mm -hmm. it's really not accurate at all. Also, without like, giving away spoilers, they've, like, totally ruined Silver St. Cloud, which was a 1970s Batman love interest that was actually a pretty cool love interest, and they've just totally ruined her. And, you know, not getting into a rant, I'm just like, you know what? The show can't get any worse. <gasps> It just can't. Yeah, we were uh, actually um, opening a, a, a bank account somewhere, and somebody was really into uh, Gotham. Yeah. Gotham, and and Luke was sitting there explaining, like, okay, this is the problems that I have with it. Yeah, I talked to him for a good twenty minutes, about <laughs> and then it. he's like, "Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> I'm gonna look further into this." Then you need to look further into it. So yeah, when you guys are playing as the uh, Batmobile skin for Robin, you are essentially playing the Redbird. And that is pretty cool. I, I just would have suggested Rocksteady. Instead of the yellow accents, they should have been green. Yes. But uh, pretty much that is what the Red Bird looked like. They have the R in the right place in the back. Oh, okay. And I didn't see if they had the... No, they don't have the R's on the side doors. And Robin's Red Bird was kind of like a DeLorean, too. The doors would open up sideways. Like oh, they would just, wow. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. It was pretty cool. Now I need to see a picture of the real thing. I'll, I'll show it to you after this. All right, awesome. But it was, it was like Robin's, you know, go-to vehicle. And then, of course, he graduated to a motorcycle like Nightwing. And the Red Bird is still, in the pre-52 universe, is just sitting in the Batcave. Like, you know. Oh, okay. Um, billionaires and their toys, they only use it for a little while. And then it's done. I really like the idea that uh, Spoiler and Robin run around jumping off rooftops with the car. What's really interesting about the Red Bird's design, you know how the Batmobile changes all the time? There's a new rider. Mm -hmm. Well, the Red Bird stayed the same, like, in its design through its entire course. Wow. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for the look at the Robin Skin Mobile DLC. Thanks so Woo. much for taking the time to watch. You can download this as part of the November DLC pack in Arkham Knight. We hope you guys had a lot of fun. We'll see you later this week with more Batman. And have a fantastic rest of your night. And make sure you check out the Mature channel for Assassin's Creed, yo. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.